Looking for the best high-performance AIO liquid cooler for your rig? Today we're ranking the top 360 to 420mm coolers from decent to absolutely elite, so stick around. Kicking off our list at the bottom is the ID Cooling SL360 Pro SE. While it's got some strong features on paper, like an attractive LCD screen and a clean, minimalist design, it just doesn't quite match the performance or polish of others in today's roundup. The 2.1-inch LCD is bright, sharp, and lets you slap anything on from system stats to fun GIFs. Setup is fairly straightforward, and the cooling is decent for most mid-tier CPUs. But the airflow tops out at just 58 CFM, which is noticeably lower than other options in this lineup, meaning it might struggle with higher-end chips under load. And that's where the issues begin. The cooler has had reports of cosmetic flaws out of the box, like scratches on the cold plate. Plus, the software that drives the LCD doesn't auto-launch. You'll need to boot it up every time you restart your PC, which is a pain. Still, if you're on a tighter budget but want a modern look with some LCD flair, this could work for you. Just know you're trading off a bit of cooling efficiency. All the coolers featured in this review are linked below in the description with the best prices, so feel free to check them out. Next up, we've got the NZXT Kraken 360 RGB, taking 4th place. It offers a premium aesthetic and rock-solid reliability, but it still has a few trade-offs that kept it from climbing higher. This cooler nails it in the looks department. The sleek, compact LCD screen adds a subtle digital touch without dominating your case visuals. With fan airflow peaking at just over 78 CFM and whisper-quiet operation, it's well-suited for gaming rigs that prioritize balance. And hey, it's backed by a very generous 6-year warranty. However, compared to competitors, the airflow is just a notch lower, and you're locked into NZXT's CAM software to control most features. Not everyone loves that level of dependency, especially if you prefer BIOS-based fan tuning or open-source solutions. If you're already in the NZXT ecosystem or want top-tier support with a clean, low-key design, the Kraken 360 RGB is a reliable pick. Like this video and hit that subscribe button if you're finding this helpful. We've got more awesome gear reviews coming your way. Landing in the middle, the Sama Q70 is a bit of a sleeper hit. It's not the biggest name in the space, but it comes loaded with high-end features that honestly punch well above its price class. We're talking serious strong fans here, up to 86 CFM of airflow and top speeds of 2600 RPM. That's a lot of cooling muscle for overclocked CPUs. The 2.8-inch screen is detachable, sharp, and offers plenty of customization options from stats to stylish animations. But it's not all roses. It runs louder than most. And with its daisy-chained layout and add-on accessories like magnetic fan modules, installation might feel a bit complex if you're not used to modular setups. If you're a power user who's okay with spending a little extra time setting things up, the Q70 gives you excellent performance and loads of flexibility. It's a great pick for enthusiasts who love customizing every inch of their rig. In second place, the Enermax Liquimax Flow 420mm. This beast is all about performance, and then some. It's huge, it's thick, and it keeps temps low with brute force engineering. You get a massive 420mm radiator that's a full 1.5 inches thick. Combine that with three high static pressure fans and an integrated 60mm VRM fan, and you've got a system that cools your CPU and your motherboard at the same time. And at just over 25 dBA, it stays surprisingly quiet while doing it. It's missing a flashy LCD display, which might be a deal breaker for some and its massive size can be tricky to fit into smaller or even mid-sized cases. Plus, you'll need to use software for full RGB control, something to keep in mind if you like plug-and-play simplicity. Still, if performance is your top priority and you want a cooler that doesn't just chill your CPU but keeps your VRMs happy too, the Liquimax Flow is a powerhouse choice. Finally, taking the crown today is the Thermalright Frozen Warframe 420. It's not just the best performing cooler in this lineup, it's also the most well-rounded. At the top of the charts with 88.7 CFM airflow and a fast quiet pump running at just 23 dBA, this cooler keeps even high-end processors frosty without breaking a sweat. The 2.4-inch LCD screen is removable and supports custom images, stats, or even fun animations. Now, it does have some heft to it. Make sure your case supports 420mm radiators. And while the LCD is fully featured, you'll need thermal rate software to make it shine. Still, that's a minor trade-off for the total package you're getting. If you want the absolute best cooling, minimal noise, and full control over your rig's aesthetics, the Frozen Warframe 420 is the one to beat. 
That wraps it up. All the top coolers are linked in the description below at the best prices available. Don't forget to check those out. Like this video if it helped, subscribe for more gear reviews, and I'll see you in the next one.